Hello friends, welcome back to Mia Spice World. Today's video is one of the most requested video as many of our viewers had asked about my cast iron cookware collection used for cooking. I thought it would be good to show my entire iron and cast iron collection and also explain the ways of using this. I am planning to have this video in two parts. In the first part, I will be showing you my entire collection and in the second video, I will share with you how to season, maintain and store these cast iron cookwares. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and also hit the bell button for latest notifications. Do watch this video till the end. Cast iron cookware is a versatile and durable option that offers many benefits. It can be used on the stove top, in the oven or even over an open flame making it ideal for a wide range of cooking methods. When properly cared for, cast iron pans can last for generations. They are resistant to scratches, dents and other types of damage making them a great investment for any kitchen. Now let me show you the cast iron ware that I use regularly. This is a skillet which is my favorite of all the cookwares. This skillet is a 10 inch cast iron ware from Petals and it comes with a handle. I purchased it from Amazon for Rs 1600. This has been used for making butter garlic prawns and also can be used for frying. This can ideally be used for a family of 4. This is again a skillet with handles on both sides. This 12 inch skillet is from Lodge and I purchased it from Amazon for Rs 3500. It is a pre-season skillet and I have used to make various recipes like mutton chukka fry, egg masala fry and also other chicken dishes like curry leaves chicken and creamy garlic chicken. If you are interested in the recipes, do check out the description below. If you are a beginner, I will recommend you to buy a pre-season cookware. Though it is slightly expensive, it will save your time and effort. These are all my kadai collection, starting from big 14 inch kadai, then 9.5 inch kadai, followed by 8 inch kadai, finally my most useful 7 inch kadai. This is our new kadai which I purchased it from Amazon. I haven't still started using this one. Though this kadai is pre-seasoned, I will show you how to use it in my next video. This is a 14 inch kadai from Lodge which I purchased it for Rs 10,000. Though this kadai is quite heavy, it will be useful when you have a large group to serve. This can ideally be used to make large quantities of fried rice, egg roast, chicken roast or any other dish. Now moving on to the next kadai. This is a 9.5 inch kadai, ideally for a family of 4 to make any sabji or gravies. This kadai is from Petals and I got it for Rs 1600. This again is a pre-seasoned one and I have used this in many of my videos like Chetinat pepper chicken. This is a smaller kadai, ideal for making stir fry and sabjis in small quantities. This heavy kadai is from Rock and I purchased it for Rs 950. It's an 8 inch kadai and perfect for everyday use. This cute looking kadai is the smallest of all my kadais. This is a pure iron kadai and not a cast iron one. You would have guessed it as the surface would be little rough when compared to other cast iron cookware. This 7 inch kadai I purchased it online from a store called Roche. I use this for all my deep frying dishes like puri, vada and papad. Next, let me show you my appam pan from Indus Valley. There were two sizes available, a smaller size and a large size. This is a large size pre-seasoned pan suitable for making crispy appams. I purchased this big appam pan for Rs 900 from their website. If you are interested in appam recipes, please do check the description below. 
This is a small tadka pan made of cast iron. This is again a pre-seasoned one. I bought this pan seeing its cuteness, but I haven't used it much. Since it has little depth, you can even use it for small frying purpose also. This I bought it from Roche for rupees 490. This is my tawa especially for frying fish, but you can also use it for making dosas too. This 9 and a half inch iron tawa comes in various sizes, but I prefer to use it only for frying. You can get good crispy fried food with little oil and it's ideal for a family of 4. Now moving on to my daily use tawas. These two tawas are used for making chapatis while this one is used for crispy dosas. This tawa I use it for making rotis and fulkas. It comes with a sturdy handle and very convenient to use. This I bought it from a local store for rupees 600. I bought this chapati tawa from a local shop for rupees 700. This tawa is pretty heavy and I have been using this for the last 6 years for making chapati and parathas. I have made a lot of paratha videos using this tawa. Kindly do watch the description below. This is my flat tawa which I use to make crispy doshas every day. This dosha tawa is very heavy and it comes with two sturdy wooden handles. I purchased this 12 inch iron tawa from Roche for rupees 1750. In short, cast iron cooker is 100% natural and non-stick. They boost the food with iron and make your food yummy and healthy. Cooking in cast iron cooker is a small step towards a healthy lifestyle and it's a safer alternative to non-stick cooker. If maintained properly, it is super durable and can be passed on to future generations. In my coming video, I will show you how to season and maintain cast iron cooker. I will also share you few tips on how to clean and store any cast iron. So, stay tuned.